स्टॉक टेकिंग स्टॉक टेकिंग इज नथिंग बट फिजिकल वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ स्टॉक फिजिकल काउंटिंग ऑफ स्टॉक इज कॉल्ड स्टॉक टेकिंग वेन वी फिजिकली काउंट स्टॉक वेरी ऑफन we need to suspend the operations of the business we have to close down the business for a couple of days because if there is movement of goods if purchase and sale take place continuously purchase sale manufacturing take place continuously it would be difficult to keep track of inventory and to count inventory so it often happens that when we need to know when we need to physically count stock at the end of the year we normally might need 2 to 4 days so it is quite possible that when we need to count stock as on 31st march we may actually count stock physically verify the stock only on 13th or 14th of april where we have some holidays so that we combine and get a stretch of 3 or 4 days in order to count stock while we physically count stock as on 15th april we have to ascertain the value of stock on 31st march for this purpose we adjust the purchases and sales which happened during this fortnight from 31st march to 15th april we count stock physically count stock all items of material apply a value to each of these item and like we mentioned before adjust the value if the stock take is on a different date for example if we wanted to know the stock as on 31st march but we have been able to physically count the stock only on 15th april we deduct all the purchases which was made from 1st april to 15th april and we add the cost of the goods sold from 1st april to 15th april similarly if stock take had been on a preceding date let us say on 25th march we counted physically counted stock as on 25th march in order to arrive at the stock as on 31st march we would add the purchases made from 25th march to 31st march and deduct the cost of the goods sold for this period let us consider an exercise a trader prepares his accounts on 31st march each year however he was not able to stock take till 15th april on which day the total cost of goods in his go down was 1 lakh the following transactions took place between 1st april and 15th april sales was 82000 which included cash sales of rupees 20000 purchases was 10068 including cash purchase of 3980 sales return 2000 goods are sold by the trader at a profit of 20% on sales ascertain the value of inventory as on 31st march you could take a couple of minutes stop the video and try to work this out stock as on 15th april is 1 lakh however we need to find out the stock as on 31st march therefore the goods which have been purchased during this period would have to be deducted 
so less purchases during the period One zero zero six eight. The fact that three thousand nine hundred and eighty of these purchases are of cash basis does not make any difference to us. Similarly, we need to add back the cost of the goods sold mind you it's not sales it is the cost of the goods which are sold add cost of sales what is the cost of sales sales is 82000 less returns of 2000 so sales is 80000 with a profit of 20% on sales we remove the profit element to arrive at the cost of goods less profit at the rate of 20% of 80000 16000 64 therefore value of stock as on 31st march should be 1 lakh less 10068 plus 64000 One lakh fifty-three thousand nine thirty-two being the value of stock as on thirty-first March. We physically counted stock on fifteenth April. Deducted the purchases which were made during the period from first April to fifteenth April. Since we want to find out the stock as on thirty-first March. how our goods were sold in this period we needed to add back the cost of these goods sold the sales net sales was 80000 profit element was 16000 and therefore the cost of sales was 64000 1 lakh stock as on 15th april less purchases for the period add 64000 of sales during the period gives us 1 lakh 53932 which should be the value of inventory as on 31st march